Let's see how the reverse and the number program works in C. Okay, we have individual variables n reminder reverse is initiated to zero. Okay, and I ask user to enter the number and it will be stored in n. While n is not equal to zero, reminder is equal to. I take the reminder of any number, any given number. I take the reminder which gives the last digit of a number, and that number will be added. By multiplying the reverse value into ten, because if any see, I have a number like six fifty seven. I have this number, okay? I have a number six fifty seven. So while taking the reminder, reminder is equal to n modulus ten, right? So I am taking the last digit and I am uh, storing it in reverse. Okay, last digit is stored in reverse, and then n is equal to n by ten, which is n is ten. Okay, let's see this. Okay. So n value is six fifty seven. Okay, n value and reminder. Okay, and reverse. These three are three variables, right? So let's see uh, what are different values stored in n. While when I give n is six fifty seven. I give n value six fifty seven, and reminder. I I'll get the reminder and store it in reminder variable. Remind reverse is equal to reverse into ten plus reminder, which is previous reverse is reverse is already initiated to zero, right? Zero into ten, which is zero plus reminder is seven. Okay, which is seven, and again, again see n value is n by ten, which is. N value is changed to sixty five now. Okay, reminder again it goes here. Is sixty five equals to zero or not? Yes, it's not equals to zero. Then it comes to this line. Control comes here. Reminder is equal to n modulus ten, which is reminder is five now. So I got the middle digit. Okay, this digit I have stored in reverse, and I got this digit. When I got this digit. This has to be moved to tens place, and this has to be appended to units place. For that, reverse is equal to reverse into ten plus reminder. Okay, reverse is equal to reverse into ten, which is seventy plus reminder is five seventy five. Right? Again, again now I get uh, to get this uh, six value n is equal to n by ten. And by ten is six now. Reminder is again six and not ten, which is six. Reverse is equal to so. Now I have to append this six to to the unit place here seven fifty six. I want to get seven fifty six. For that I have to move this seven to hundreds place and five to tens place. For that I'll multiply with ten. Okay, the previous reverse value should be multiplied with ten, which I get seven fifty. Plus reminder is six, which is seven fifty six. Seven fifty six. This is the reversed value of six fifty seven given number. So again, n value will be n equal to n by ten. Six by ten is zero. Zero is not equal to zero. Is this condition true or false? The condition fails here. The control comes out of the loop, and the reversed number is seven fifty six will be printed for palindrome number. You have to check if the given number is equal to the reverse number or not. For that, you can store in other variable. This after uh, storing this here, I take another variable like m. I take m as another variable and I store it. Store value of n into m. And uh, after this loop, I check if reminder is equal to if reverse reverse is equal to reverse value is equal to M or not, which is the previous given number. Reverse number is equal to given number or not. The thing I'll check and I print if this condition is true. I'll print the number is a palindrome number. Do you know what is a palindrome number? I guess everyone knows this. Palindrome number is if you reverse the number also, you should get the same number. That is palindrome. So after reversing one goes to Last digit, 
two remains here and last digit comes to first place right so this is how a reversing a number program works and you can also check if it is a palindrome or not okay thank you